called Staten Island. It might be Staten Island. Yeah. <laughs> Drawer. Drawer. What You're like saying? making me think. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, we just want to be amused. How do you say drawer? Drawer. That's right. Yeah. Okay. okay. You did it right. Okay. <laughs> um, you tell mom about my thong and I'm going to strangle you. <laughs> mom, can I go to the library? I really, really need to study really, really hard. Fine. I'll flunk out and start waiting tables at a stripper club. <laughs> That's how I'll end up. Then you'll be happy. Get out. I can smell your icky milk breath. Milk breath. I hate you so much. I'll pay you to run away from home. Run away. Bye bye. And don't slam the door. You nasty little. Ooh. Right, I'll slam it before you nasty little. Okay. All right. So, what do you got? What, what's the story? That's yes. right. Exactly right. Very good. I know all of them. You, you, you seem to know this story. Yeah. Okay, so she's in her room. She's like probably pacing, perhaps. You always have to, by the way, if they don't give you a story, you've got to have one. Because you know what they want to hear? Specificity. It could be different than what they have when they animate it, but if they don't give you the directions, you better have one that's specific. And so, um, so where, who is she talking to? There's two people. Who are the characters? There's her, and then there's who? who, who? To whom she's speaking? Mother. Her sister. She talks to the mom, like she's right. trying to, but then she's also talking to the little sister. And the, we know the little sister's in the room. Yeah. Right? Okay, then where's the mom? Somewhere outside of the room. Right, you, you pick the somewhere. Uh, in the, I was going to say in the sala, in Puerto Rican, um, in the living room. Um, okay, just make her far away. And maybe downstairs or far enough the way that she's going to have to go, Mom! Right? Okay. Because why? Because uh, the contrast between the mom being farther away, right, and the sister, you know, right, is good. She's in her face. I can see my little milk. Right? 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 Also, uh, you keep away about like that. You're good where you are now. And when you yell the mom, just turn. Turn from, here's, here's a hard technique. Imagine you, your microphone is nude, mm -hmm. right? And so if I didn't have a player to my right, I could, I, or say I had a player to my right, your left, then if I wanted to call out, rather than go way back, then I have to come back in, right? I go a bit back and turn my head to 10. Then I can go, I should do the opposite so I can see if Nora's going to be blasted. Mom, what are you doing? Right? That's the same as going farther back. Mom, what are you doing? But it, you can't get back in. Right? And the other good, good thing is if I said to Nora, is that too loud? Nora doesn't know what the heck I'm doing because she's an engineer. They can't, no depth of field. They don't know what's going on. But she can say, you can be more on mic. Oh, I'll go to 11. Or, you know, so you can kind of judge that. If you have a job, you can spend all day. But in an audition, just remember, just a little bit back, one side or the other. Never go to nine or to three because you get too much room. In most any any uh, booth, you'll get too much room. Just ten and two. So just don't get all uh, don't get confused on it. All you have to do is turn your head a little bit and call around. Imagine that the what do you call it? The living room in Frederick. Sala. Sala. Yeah. Okay, is that one? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and yeah. And she's a teenager, so just yell. And you know, they're never really, they never can lie well. They can, you know, I really need a study. You know, it's like, right? Um, so um, then you get your little sister who you hate. Mm -hmm. You're strange. Do you have a little sister? No, I've got a little brother. Well, I've got a little sister, but she's, she doesn't live with me. So she's what? She doesn't live with me. Oh, OK. Do you like her? Yeah. OK. But you can, you can understand this relationship. Yeah. Okay, so when you're ready, any questions? Um, the first line, I feel like she's talking to herself. Good. Right. Okay. She's fuming. Okay. And also, read it out for them again so they hear it. I'm grounded. I have no tunes. I can't text. It's like living in frickin' Iran. Okay, so what she has is three things. And as we all feel, this is pretending, remembering like when you did, she's sort of getting herself pumped up. I'm grounded. She's making a list. Mm -hmm. And then, then it culminates with, you're right. Okay. Yeah. 
So when you're ready. Okay. I'm grounded. I have no tunes. I can't text. It's like living in freaking Iran. Mother! Can you get my pathetic sister out of the room? Little vermin, stare in my drawer. You tell mom with my thong and I'm gonna strangle you. Okay. Mom! It's really good. I love the mom calling out. It's good. The only thing is, I want you to have your hands free. Okay. You want this over here or over here? Here's fine. Okay. Are you right handed? Yeah. That's good because, see, you'd be, you're probably right handed, right eye focused. Okay. You know about that? No. Okay. If you're right eye, that means that you're right eye focused, you're right handed. This other eye is going to go over to, to, to go for it. If your left hand is the other way. And, and if so you're ambidextrous? If you, what? And if you're ambidextrous? Um, <laughs> <laughs> here's, where, here's where 94, 94 instructors over my academic career, I have one guy that would once in a while go, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, if you have like a pop filter or something that's problematic, try to have your focus eye clear if the other one is slightly obscured. So if your right eye put your copy to the right side of the copy stand and left with your left hand. Okay, okay anybody else have anything that bears Mr. Frey? Are we all right? Okay, when you're ready. I, uh, now, here's what the note I wanted to give the big one. Call out to mom, and that little sister, you can't, you can't talk to her like that and be overheard. So exaggerate it a little bit. You get in trouble. You get double grounded. You will go through the job. I can smell your milk breath. Mom! See, get, because I'll tell you what, in comedy especially, the ear delights in contrast. And I don't know why. It could be contrast between two characters, contrast between emotions. Um, like this, look. This is what we like. Bye, Barbara. Bye-bye. I hate her. <laughs> now, why do we like that? It's a missing transition, isn't it? And it, it, it delights us. That's comedy. Hi, Bar Bye, Barbara. Oh, man. Barbara, I hate her. It's not so funny as the, you know, and I don't know why. So the contrast of you going, Ma! Oh, you stare. Right? Will delight us. Okay. okay. And you're doing really good. It sounds great. Okay, so when you're ready. Okay. Grounded. I have no tunes. I can't text. It's like living in freaking Iran. Mother! Can you get my pathetic sister out of the room? You little stay out of my drawer. You can you tell mom about my thong and I'm going to strangle you with it. Mom! Can I go to the library? I really, really need to really study really hard. <laughs>